Walmart has been in Brazil almost two decades with more than 550 stores in nearly 200 cities. But the retailer isn't enjoying the same success that it has seen in the United States. Paulo Cabral takes a look at Walmart's struggles in Latin America's largest economy. Brazilians shop around for good deals. Big supermarket chains here have learned that connecting with consumers will be a challenge. There are many people like me that come every day to the supermarket in search of the best deals. I am always watching for price cuts. Things are expensive, so we have to go to several supermarkets to get the best offers. I buy my things in many different places, of course. We have to find the best prices. It was different in the 1980s and early 1990s, when Brazilian inflation reached peaks of more than 2,000 percent per year. Price comparisons were impossible, and buying in bulk right when the salary came out was the way to fight depreciation. The head of the retail studies group at the University of Sao Paulo says that's when shops like Walmart grew, but the American retail giant only came later, in 1995. When they arrived uh, here in Brazil, we had already very important operations working spread out. We had a very high inflation. And after 1994, small stores are much more attracted. The, the consumers are alerted uh, to the ki this kind of operation. And according to some analysts, the company's slogan, everyday low prices, failed to attract customers, leading Walmart on a path of weak performance, despite strong economic growth throughout the country. Over the last decade, Brazilian supermarkets saw a significant increase in their sales and profits, thanks to the low unemployment and the rise in average wages. If Walmart couldn't develop its business in Brazil during this more favorable period, it's going to be even harder now that the retail industry is showing signs of slowdown. Paulo Cabral, CCTV America, São Paulo.